Why is up everybody? I'm no Lex giving back with some more Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Today we've got Demons, Dragons, Elementals, Naga, and Pirates. I'll just grab this. I was thinking the Iron Him from Inge is pretty cool just to be able to win all of these early game fights. That's a bummer. Well, I would have lost it even if I bought the dragon. Would have won that with Inge though, so that's awkward. Was it ever worth it to Enchanted Lasso one of these buskers and then sell through it and buy the second busker? That would give me seven gold next turn. Probably not worth it. How good's a 4-4? Good enough. Now I will just Chef's Choice. There's a lot of options for what to choose, though. And I could grab a 3-3. Three, three. I probably take Selimental here because it's a 3-3. Three, three. At which point, actually, I could go for this. This is also Econ. And I will be keeping whatever I grab here for multiple turns. Let's grab something other than Selimental. And then I think I'll just grab the 2-2. Two, two. It is a little bit worse, but some cool econ after the fact. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should have just taken a 3-3. Three, three. Get a little bit stronger. Alex playing dragons already means that they are probably weak. Thing. Assuming they took the front drake. Yeah, they did. Okay, well, smuggler's not bad. Ah. Here. Wow. I feel like I should have actually won that fight. I mean, I could have done that too. Get a plain copy of a random minion from your last opponent. Sure. And I can sell through this and the Selimental by this guy. Which seems good. You down a minion and up a gold. I'll give myself a 4-6 finally. Using my hero power to buy an expensive trinket like a Felbat portrait or something could be a really good option, especially if I can find like souvenir stand to double up on that. So I think that's gonna be the goal. But for now, oh, we get a banana from Mukla. Oh, lesser trinkets next turn even. I guess I'll just push levels here, though, for now. Um, Let's get some better I have two free rolls. Considering I probably want to play this refreshing anomaly, grab a second pilferer. Grab a whistler. And this is probably right. This is reasonably good value, too. Let, let's roll again. we grab even more Econ. I guess I'll roll one more time, considering... Okay, this is good now. Now this is some good stuff. And I guess that's all I'll do. I mean, Gladiator's good. I could probably even have locked yeah, onto Gladiator. The Fiery Fellblood is at least some scaling now. That was a good hit. I think I still lose this fight. I've got more cards than my opponent, but all of their cards are just bigger. Okay. I only take four, though. Not too shabby. Let's see what my trinkets are now. Oh, this would not be a bad one. Turn it around. I do like the Innkeeper Stein, and then I do also have Souvenir Stand. Kind of what I said, Souvenir Stand, level up a little bit, buy an expensive trinket. Let's just grab this and try to play tempo as best as I can until it's time to find more trinkets. I think this is a good plan. Let's grab this. I think I grabbed this thing. A second Fiery Fellblood. I mean, I can definitely afford it. Sell out of this, this, and then probably this. Oh, let's see what this gives me first. Hear the sound of the ocean. Cool. 
Oh, there is also Phyrex. Do I want to lock onto Phyrex? Probably. That's a good enough card. Now let's give everything plus one, and then I'll give this another plus one. And this can get Taunt. This seems reasonably strong right now. Getting another Divine Shield card and then the momentum, Avenge 4, I'll have at least one more Divine Shield card by the end of this. And that Souvenir Stand gives me some potential to high roll later on. So yeah, all of this seems good to me so far. Getting some wins here now finally feels good. Probably sell out of Shell Whistler and keep the Gift Pilfer. I don't know. Do I have enough coin to level and buy this You're turn? Good at this. I do. I do, and then some. Even. I could cycle through this guy, buy the staff real quick. Actually, let me just sell out of this because I'm not getting any value from it this turn. I think I will also roll and try to buy something better with this. Start of combat, give your other dragons plus three, plus three. After you buy a minion, gain stats equal to its tier. It does seem like this is pretty good this early. But I still can sell two things and buy something. If I find another Divine Shield, this is quite good. I do not. I could just grab some Econ here. Maybe that's good enough. I think so. Keep up these eggs. So I'll have a few things die. I'll give something Divine Shield and then... I will get some, some Econ. Probably. You're doing great out there. Let's see how it goes. I'm actually pretty high up in the lobby, which feels wrong. It feels like I'm not strong enough to be that high up in the lobby, especially the souvenir stand. I did kind of have a feeling that guy was going to go away. But I will still get one more Divine Shield here, and with that hit, I think I'm doing somewhat reasonably. Alright, I take six damage. Not the worst thing in the world. Might not be in the top four anymore. Oh, still in the top four, wow. Okay. And one more turn till I get... No, two more turns till I get the Greater Trinket. So we've still got a little ways to go. I do want to start getting stronger soon. I probably want to sell through both of these this turn and just replace them with things that have gotten a little bit more stats. Oh, this is next turn. Okay, great. Probably breaking into the piggy bank next turn then as well. Let's just find some things with divine shields on them or something. I could try to triple this, too. Could try to triple this, that's probably easier to triple. I'll grab this for now. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. This is good, and we could potentially wind up randomly giving this Divine Shield. So that's also pretty solid. Let's I think sell through all of these things. A good tactical choice. What do we get here? Anything better? Some scouty wags. Pilfer their party favors. And grab a poet and a synthesizer. You just don't understand me. Someone's coming in. This is good. I mean, it doesn't seem like I'm super likely to get the Divine Shield here. But if I do, it's pretty cool. Oh, double Patient Scout here, too. I think you can win this thing. 
next turn, if we get a good trinket, we are in business. Nope. Poet, not gonna do its thing. Oh, this did three scallywags. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so I threw away some divine shields there, potentially. Maybe we can get the divine. Oh, 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 targeted. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. That was a lot of my power. Oh, bad attacks here across the board. What good attack at the final hit there. But I feel like this fight was winnable. Maybe with better ordering, though, too. Alright, and now if I find a greater trinket that I can spend some cash on, I'm some feeling good. Chest set. Oh, probably double fishing rod. Okay. Yeah, double fishing rod, and we'll see where to go from there. This gives me a, brawn, a, a, a bronze beard and a granite guardian. Huh. I only need to toss this. This is good scam. I think I'm just going to cash this in right now. And try to find some good stuff here. Does this let me level up? Not quite. Just short. Just short of leveling up here. Oh, so I should probably sell to level up. Yeah, that's fine. Sell out of Synthesizer or sell out of Moira? Let's just sell out of Moira and hit level 9 here. Or, uh, level 6. That's probably a good use of my hero power to just level up twice in one turn, and then I'm going to need to pivot after this into something a little bit more reasonable. Hopefully the Synthesizer can get a Divine Shield here too. It's kind of what I'm playing for. Oh, that's a really good scan, because now it only gives one health over there. That's cool. We're gonna keep on scamming. Oh, I scammed this Trickster too? Wow, double trickster scam is really good. Divine shield? Nice! Permanent divine shield on the synthesizer. And hopefully now they attack into one of these things. I reset the divine shield with this attack. Or could go on this. 50-50. Nope, I reset it. Too easy. Too easy, baby. And this thing doesn't even uh, take this out. So that's a win. Cool. 10 damage, and now every turn I get two tier 7s. I leveled up thinking that if I can give this Divine Shield with an Elemental of Surprise, that seems really good. But I might just go for Obsidian Ravager. I do think I want armor. roll and see if I can feel inspired a little bit. I either want to put more stats onto this. What else can I do? There's probably a few different things that I could make golden for some nice profit. Maybe we cast a spell on a minion. That might just be worth it. And I need to find another good dragon. Sure. I've got a few dragons here, so this could go a little bit awkward for me. But just any stats on Obsidian Ravager are so good. And everything else has... Um, Everything else has Divine Shield. Oh, I do have two Elementals here. But I think this is a reasonable Power Spike. This deals a lot of damage, and I'm going to be giving it plus four attack over the next few turns. That seems reasonable. 
don't know if I need to discover a buddy when I'm getting free stuff here. I think I just want to find more stats for the Ravager and hope that I can go infinite with that. Alright, that was a really good scam. I think I definitely still lose this fight and take 15, though. And I don't believe that there's any way around that awkwardly. Yeah. There, enough. What if I had killed this? No, that still would have been 15. Armor didn't really save me there, but what can you do? Welcome back. How's it going out there? Minions in the tavern have plus 10, and then Moira with this I feel like is good. Maybe I look for like different amalgam pumpers. I need to cut this. This is fine, but I feel like I can do better. Okay, this is really good. This is what I need, and then I play it with Moira. I kind of am interested in Elemental with Surprise, too. But I don't think I can afford to do all that. Let's just grab this and this roll for a moment so I can maybe make one more buy. Oh, a carbonic copy is nice, isn't it? Am I selling out of this? No, I just really can't even afford to buy that. Let's roll. Let's start using this. This is going to give me a little bit more econ here. Double the health. That's kind of cute. Start of combat, steal stats. Maybe I just take the Ramble Witch. Just because it's a reasonably nice scam. Then I'm just going to keep Moira on the board. It's not fantastic. But it's something. You're doing great I kind of need there. to give this Divine Shield. But I also need to be attacking with it as much as possible. To get the needed value here. Huh, I don't know. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I should be attacking with it later. Go here. Wow. Wow. Okay. I should not be that lucky. That is crazy lucky. Divine Shield on Moira is not good, but I mean, still win the fight against the Lobby Leader with, like, insane luck there. I could triple with the Elemental of Surprise if I hit the Granite Guardian. Nice work out there. And I don't. But I get another Obsidian Ravager. Probably just try to, like, keep pumping up my dragons. I don't think it's great, but it's definitely an angle. Hmm. You can get multiple copies of Twilight Emissary. I don't think that that's that good, though. This is interesting. have two That's different Obsidian Ravagers that I could try to put these friend. stats onto. Don't look down. How did I do? Ah, uh, put it on the worst thing. Maybe I should have sold through this, too. Better hire a recruit while you can. Get some more Nala's. I do have one more turn with the Dragon Pump here. am I looking for? I really don't even know what I'm doing right now. I guess I'm looking for another elemental of surprise. Better Triple this. While you can. Or just another way to put more stats on this guy. Yeah, this is fine. 
The tides shall wash you away. Sure. Give something else. Taunt. Someone's coming in. You're down a minion and up a goal. I'm just gonna play this and then probably lead with this and then this and then this. Sure. Keep up the momentum. I'm in the top four right now, but I do not feel strong at all. But I can scam from a bunch of my opponent's units. Oh, they just gave me some permanent divine shield. Not full permanent divine shield, but permanent divine shield on my golden obsidian ravager is something. So hopefully it just never actually has to attack. That's the goal. Alright, and I win. Oh, that's a kill. That's a kill, so now I'm in third. This is a wacky game if I can manage to turn this one around. I am in the finals against Marin here. Nice work out there. Ever a friendly dragon attacks, give it plus three plus one. Oh, that is pretty good with this. Do I play this thing? Um. Divine Shield on my second Ravager also seems interesting. Could still continue to play this. I might just go for stats. And scam. Stats and scam might be the way to do it. This is basically scam. This is obviously quite good, too. And it's free. Cool, let's throw in a roll. Oh, sure, Divine Shield plus a triple on this. That is pretty gravy, baby. I think I made this into a legitimate build here at the end. I am one with the thorns. That is pretty good. Another elemental of surprise so that I can maybe still triple this is cool. I am pretty low on stats here. Another taunter is like fine though. So I guess I'll just play a taunter. End on this. This would be cool. Because this Divine Shield isn't going to be permanent, but it's basically permanent, because I can refresh it next turn. I maybe should have put a Divine Shield on the Granite Guardian, out there. so maybe I'll just triple it next turn. Or, I mean, maybe there is no next turn, because we're all done here, but I take that out. And then I'm looking to remove the Cultus. I scan the biggest stuff. Actually, that means when the Cultus resummits, it's not even going to give them anything worthwhile. Yeah, I mean, I scanned all of their stuff. So they're going to resummon a 3-3. Then I smack them for 17. Okay, I just got to do that one more time. Uh, that Quillbore is obviously really, really good against them. Quillbore? Yeah, this is like insane scam against exactly what their comp is. Okay, okay. Uh, I can get two copies of something. Mechs and demons. It's not quite going to be what I need. Could cut the poet at this point. It's just a reasonable divine shielded minion. I think I'm looking for... I don't want this. I actively do not want that. I want to scam whatever they've got. I can grab another Divine Shield for the Guardian or for the Ravager, whichever way you split it. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that first because I could still get Elemental with Surprise. Oh, this is also worth it, isn't it? The tide Let's do away. this. Do I get an exact copy? I do. Oh, but I'm out of spells. I 
think I still grab this, grab this. That'll do some damage. That's one spell. I need two more spells. I'll just grab this as a spell and one more spell after this roll here. Sure. I'm just grabbing it because it's a spell. Overbought here. But we do this, 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 this. Okay. This is like max scam. I probably should have put these things sooner. But I've got a board full of scam here. I think this is a win. This was a wacky game. But yeah, get scammed, son. Sorry to say. But this is a scam and a half. These probably should be sooner. Hopefully they don't have too much stats that this is still good enough for them. I think we're good. Right? Oh no, I lose. Dang! Okay! I probably needed to replace the poet with one more scam, and the ravagers fell off in the endgame. I just needed one more scam, though, and I would have won that. Still really close. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm no Lex Given. Peace.